everybody welcome back to my channel my name is sydney if you're new here this channel is all about my pregnancy motherhood family marriage everything that goes into that kind of life but i'm so glad that you landed on this video and this is a video that I've been wanting to do just because I'm super excited about it and I just finished mine but we are going to go through baby registries today. If you need ideas for your registry, if you need a platform to use your registry, if you've never done a registry before and you have no idea what to add on it, same girl because that was me literally three weeks ago. It took me a while to get through my registry but with using Amazon registry which I used and this is not sponsored or anything, I just preferenced, I had a preference to use Amazon, I was between Amazon and Target. And I ended up going on with Amazon just because I, there's a bunch of people in different states and Amazon has a lot more options than just Target does it by itself. And then since I'm an Amazon Prime member, I get um, a couple perks. So I decided to go with Amazon and I will put a thing on the screen on this side, just so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about as I'm talking about it. I just wanted to go through and explain what I did to get it started, um, show you guys all the perks and everything, how easy it is to use, and then also some of the things that I put on my registry. And then also I have a couple things that I did not put on my registry just because I wanna be able to go to the stores and physically see it and buy it before somebody just sends it to my house. Another thing that I want to mention just as the start of this video, I am not doing a baby shower, don't want one. I have no interest in having a baby shower. That's why I made a in-depth registry. And then if people would like to get things for the baby, then they can, and then I could just send them the link. We're not doing a baby shower, so let's get right into it. But when you first get to the homepage, it's going to look like this. Um, it's Amazon, but if you want to type, it's easier to find if you type in Amazon Baby Registry on Google itself. So then it pops up like this. I already made my registry just because I wanted to get it finished. But this is the home page. It literally breaks down everything. And what I liked about this one is it gives you other registries that are public. And then it can kind of show you what other moms have added to their registry if you're a first time mom like me and this is your first time making a registry. So this makes it super easy. It's just like Amazon where it suggests you know, top choices. I'll just start with the benefits really quick just because it's easier to start with. So it, you go to benefits and I am an Amazon Prime member. So most of these benefits you have to be an Amazon Prime member, which I'm sure almost everybody at this point is, but these are your benefits. So you get a registry completion discount, 15% completion discount will be available. This is when my discount is available. You have to put in the your expected due date which mine is April 10th. So this is exactly two months before my due date. And then use your discount as many times as you would like during your eligibility window for a maximum savings of $300. And then if you want any more, you can just click on learn more and it'll pop up a whole bunch of terms and everything like that. So you can go through those. Then you also, also you have to be an Amazon Prime member for this one. You get a welcome box but you have to hit certain requirements before you can get it. It's free, claim yours. You have to join Amazon Prime if you're not already a member. Add 10 unique items to your checklist, which is easy because I think mine has 76 items. So it's really easy to hit 10 items. You or somebody else has to purchase at least $10 worth of products from your registry. You can do it. You just have to use your link if you want to get some things on your registry. That's also really easy because even bottles are more than $10 for a pack of four. So it's super easy to hit that $10 mark. And then after you hit the first three steps, then you request your box. The box, I believe, is up to $30, $30 worth of things. And then it gives you kind of an example of what has been sent in other boxes. So this is diapers, binkies, a thank you card, some onesies. This looks like a, a sheet or a blanket. And then I don't know what these are, but then you can also click on see previously featured items. And these are items that have been put in the welcome boxes before. So you can kind of get an idea. And then if you like any of them, you can add them to your registry as well which is really nice. And then also what I really liked about Amazon Prime is that 
or the Amazon baby registry is that they have a diaper fund, which I think is much better than just asking people to buy diapers. One, you don't know the size of your baby. I mean, you can get growth scans and kind of estimate, but you really don't know until they come out. And you also do not know how fast they're going to grow. So with the diaper fund, whenever you need diapers, you can just buy them with the diaper fund money, which I think is great just because you have more flexibility and you don't literally have 17 boxes of newborn diapers and then you can't use them because they either don't fit or your baby grew out of them too fast. And then also another thing is you have one year, up to one year from your due date free return. So you can return anything that you either don't use or didn't think you would need or whatever the case is, you're eligible to return up to 365 days, which is great. And then there's different ways that you can share your registry. You can either only have you and whoever you add onto your registry that can access your registry. You can send a link or you can make your registry public. And then group gifting, that's another thing that I didn't know really existed. An item on my registry is over $200. Somebody can put in 100, another person can put in 50, another person can put in 75, whatever. And then when it gets to the total price of just say $250, then the, the item will be purchased and four people collectively bought the item. And then, so those are all the benefits. And then now getting into the nitty gritty of the registry, it made it so simple and it makes you not have to think so hard. It comes with a checklist. Obviously mine is 100% full already because I already went through all of this, but it gives you a checklist. So you just go in and strollers and car seats and it'll give you strollers, travel systems, which is strollers and the car seat attachments all in one, just car seats, convertible car seats, car seat accessories, and stroller accessories. So like the little, the little squeezy toys. And then it literally just goes down through everything. So nursery and furniture, every kind of furniture, even to the things like crib mattress covers, waterproof covers, it literally goes through every possible thing that you could need. Then you go to nursing and bedding, everything, feeding, nursing, diapering, bathing, health and baby care, activities, which is like the bouncers, the swings, the, the play areas, all that. Then you have toys and books, which is not something that you think about putting on your registry. Clothing, which is a big thing, and gifts, which was a sweet thing. Um, If you want to do keepsakes with feet prints or hand prints or pictures or um, if you are interested in scrapbooking or you want to do like the first year of their life. Honestly, to build my registry, I just went through and went down the list and picked things. Also, if you want something but you don't see it when it pops up in the list, you are more than welcome to go into the Amazon search and then you can scroll down on the side where it says add to baby registry, click on that and then it'll add it to your registry. So you don't necessarily have to shop from that list. And Another thing that I really liked about Amazon Prime was that it also caters to moms or the babies, which is also really important because I feel like during baby showers and during the whole pregnancy and even when the baby comes, everybody shops for the baby, but the mom needs things too. Baby needs diapers, the mom needs diapers. Like, I'm gonna have to wear diapers. See, and this is the thing, shopping guides, who are you shopping for, baby or mom? Which is really nice because it includes the mom who nine times out of 10 is usually forgotten about. Personally, I didn't add anything to do with me just besides I added the silverette cups, which I'll add just in case, I'll put a picture right here in case anybody doesn't know what they are. But I keep seeing such great reviews, especially when you're breastfeeding, which I am going to be doing. But other than that, I didn't add anything for me. I didn't add any hygiene product for the baby just because I wanna be able to go to the store and actually smell them because some scents are really super strong and I don't even like super strong scents. So never, I can't even imagine putting such a strong scented body wash or lotion on my baby. I just wanna be able to feel consistency and because not all lavender things smell the same, not all vanilla things smell the same. It's just my personal preference. I didn't add anything of that. I didn't add any diapers because I am doing the diaper fun. I think the only thing I added for hygiene wise was water wipes. But again, I might wanna try different white brands. So I'm gonna go out and get, you know, a couple different white brands. I only added a couple clothing items. And another thing is I added clothes that are different sizes just because I didn't get anything newborn, even though she's a girl and girls usually come out smaller. I didn't get really a lot, 
a lot in zero to three months because we're not really gonna go that many places with her just because she's gonna be so little and she's gonna be born in April, which is still the season of the flu season and everybody's sick with spring allergies and all that other jazz. So we probably won't be going anywhere with her consistently until summertime, June, July, August. So I'm getting a lot of things that are three to six months I put on the registry, also six to nine months. I put the sizes with clothes that fit the season. So if you didn't know, I live in Florida. It's literally hot 10 months out of the year, but hot to adults and hot to babies are very different. So most of the leggings, long sleeve, onesies, things like that, I put in the size that she would be. So like nine months, 10 months. And then another thing that I also added was fans for strollers, but the bassinet I found, we're not buying a crib. The bassinet I found on Amazon, the stroller I found on Amazon, and it's a convertible stroller from bassinet to back stroke, like facing me stroller to facing the world stroller. It's all three of them together, which is good. And then we also got the, I think it's Graco. That's how you say the brand, G-R-A-C-O. We got the four in one convertible car seat. The reason that we did this is we had to one, understand that we are not going to have a car seat that comes in and out and clicks. Um, we also are not gonna have a car seat that comes in and out and clicks into a stroller. It was like, okay, we want a car seat that is going to last. And I don't have to buy a car seat when she's a baby, then a toddler car seat, then a bigger car seat, then a booster seat. Cause by then you're gonna be spending thousands of dollars when you get one car seat for, I think it's $239. And that's the car seat you use until they don't need a car seat anymore. And we're not having any more babies. So it's not like, oh, we'll just use this car seat for, you know, when we have another infant and then we'll buy a new car seat for the toddler. And then the both toddlers will use the same car seat. No. So we're trying to be very efficient with the things that we buy. And I'm also getting the baby carrier. I got one that's literally just a snap in the back and the baby sits here. And then it also grows with the baby so I can put her in the back if I want to. I can put her in the front. I think that's what I'm gonna use most of the time, like going to the grocery store and stuff, just so I'm still hands-free. And I also have two other kids that I have to pay attention to. And obviously they're old enough to help with pushing the stro pushing the stroller and pushing the, the baskets for the store and whatever. So that's the decisions that we made on our registry. That is kind of my registry breakdown, everything that I put in my registry, why I put my registry, why I didn't put things in my registry. It's This is such an exciting time and I can't wait to do a big baby haul from all the things that I get. I'm not gonna open anything until I have a majority of this stuff, probably 36 weeks pregnant. <laughs> gonna be huge. I wanna do a big haul of everything that I got and setting it up and all that stuff and you guys will come along for that. Make it easy as possible, um, especially if you're a new mom, do not, do not, PSA. Do not go overboard with your registry. Do not. Because there's gonna be so many things that you think that you are going to need and you're not ever going to use and you're just going to have it and it's gonna take up space. You know, go all out for the coming home outfit. Go all out for the first birthday outfit. Go like go all out if you wanna do, you know, monthly pictures of growth, which I also wanna do. That was my registry video. I hope you guys found it helpful, informational. If I gave you any ideas to put in your registry or not to put in your registry or whatever the case is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did like this video, subscribe to the channel to come along with this journey of pregnancy, motherhood, raising children, being married, that whole, the whole, the whole life, girl. The whole entire life. I will see you guys in the vlog on Friday. Check out the vlog on Friday. If you didn't see the vlog from last Friday, go check that out as well. Thanks. Bye.